Hey, what's going on, Obscure Mike people? It is me, Bark, back again. Guess who's back, back again? It's me, Bark, back again. So, first off, uh, first video that I have recorded since the situation going on. I'm not going to go deep into anything, but I stand with the black community. I stand with the black community. I'm all for peaceful protesting, and I won't even dive into the not peace, peaceful protesting. Just too much of a rabbit hole to dive into because there's a lot of sides, but I will say this, until you're in another man's shoes, try not to judge him from afar. Anyways, let's get on to an obscure microphone video. I am starting out with the SM7B, which is what I will do from now on. I bought it. I'm keeping it. I swear. I swear. I swear. By the moon and the stars in the sky, I'll be there. I'll be there. I swear. I apologize. That was uncalled for. But you liked it anyways. You liked that. You liked the good old bark rendition of I Swear. Or you didn't. It's fine. So anyways, SM7B kind of became my main podcast mic. Against all odds, I tried not to because it's really expensive for a dynamic microphone, but it did. That being said, <laughs> this is not what I'm using today. This is, the, uh, this is just for you to hear a solid, decent microphone that everyone mostly considers to be a good microphone before we switch to the obscure microphone. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way and let's talk about something I'm pretty excited about because it's pretty obscure. It's the CAM, K-A-M, Spectrum Dynamic Microphone. Now, before I move on to this thing, the only place I found this is eBay. So I bought this off eBay. I've been watching it for a long time. They usually run 160 bucks. I found one for 90. So I pounced all over that. RAR. And in the description, it says comparable to the SM7B and the MD421 from Sennheiser. Let's find out how comparable. SM7B out, Cam Spectrum in. Cam Spectrum M. M? In. Cam Spectrum is in the house. Okay. Let's take a look at the Cam Spectrum. It is a small, not a small diaphragm, but a small dynamic microphone in a small body, an interesting body with a yoke mount, which is pretty cool. And it does have a nice large grill. It is in the dress. And the weird thing about it is it is XLR to mini XLR, real tiny XLR cable. And uh, that's, that's pretty strange. The XLR cable that comes with it, in my opinion, is pretty dinky. So I wouldn't advise to have a lot of electronics around this. I have a feeling that the uh, RF interference would be present if you have a lot of electronics. That being said, Banjo at Podcastage, who I like to throw out name drops to a lot, he just did an XLR cable video comparing cheap XLRs and like Mogami XLR cables to see if there's a difference. And there actually, la, 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 la. And there actually was quite a difference. So I suggest watching that video. It's made me a lot more aware of, of thinner cables like this and cheaper cables, which granted, if you don't have a lot of electronics around them, not going to be an issue for the most part. But if you do, you may want to invest in some good cables. Check that video out. So this is the cam spectrum. And I, I was really excited. Anything that comes on a yoke mount, I get kind of excited about because you don't have to buy a separate mount. You don't have to, you know, mess with all that. Now, granted, it's not a shock mount that I can tell. I don't know if this is internally shock mounted, but even on the mics that I see that are internally shock mounted, it typically means not much. So helps a little. So let's go ahead and throw some tests at the Cam Spectrum Broadcast Dynamic Microphone. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple pizza. When you get right on top of the Cam Spectrum microphone, this is what it sounds like when you get right on top of the Cam Spectrum microphone. Why swear? 
by the moon and the stars in the sky i'll be there we'll be there singing test over okay let's go ahead and spin the microphone around 90 degrees to see what the off-axis rejection is on the cam spectrum that'll also give you a little side view of it and around to the rear of the cam spectrum microphone and so far the off-axis rejection sounds good 90 degrees here and let's go back to our original 90 degree axis axis and spin it around to the front of the microphone so now we are back at the front of the cam spectrum and this is what it sounds like now my initial thoughts of the cam spectrum is uh, comparable to the Shure SM7B and MD421. I will let that slide because I think this does sound pretty good. It doesn't sound exactly like the SM7B. It's got a little more presence boost to it. It's got a little bit muddier of a bottom floor to me. Like the low end is a tiny bit muddy, but at least there is some there to me. I, I don't think it sounds bad. I don't know if I would furnish my studio with three of these or not but i definitely do not think the sound of this microphone is offensive by any means i think it sounds okay so that being said let's see if we can just emphasize some s's on this thing and see what the sibilance is like on the cam spectrum the cam spectra spec spectrum peter spectrum pepper piper okay so cam spectrum i've got nothing as far as frequency response goes on this microphone all i've got is the microphone the cable and it came in a metal case and it is specifically for the cam spectrum because the cutout is identical to this little short behemoth of a microphone so there i go making lots of noise so cam spectrum I, this is, this is a pretty cool mic. I don't really typically like the looks of this mic. It seems like something that would be mic'd up to a drum kit. Not exactly. It doesn't exactly pass my shallow mic test of like nice looking big microphone that fits in a recording space. This kind of looks more like a drum thing, but you know, the yoke mount kind of has me sold on a little bit. It's almost like the, um, the Blue Raven that I have reviewed, similar size, similar shape, but a better mounting system. So I do like the mounting system on this. It's got the 5 8 threading built right into the yoke mount. So you literally need nothing to get this thing mounted and ready to go. And I even like the touch of the, uh, the silver tightening dials here on each side of the yoke mount. Like it's a pretty good looking mic. The grill not a bit of given in it at all so you're not going to dent that thing pretty easily the body of the microphone it is seemingly metal and it is very sturdy so as far as build construction goes this microphone is excellent as far as the build quality i think the sound quality is solid so there's nothing there it is a little bit it is just like the finest bit of grainy but i do think it sounds pretty good definitely passable for a podcast Probably good enough for some voiceover and, out, you know, for gamers like out of the picture, I mean, that's pretty small. You could probably get that out of the picture fairly well and hide it. So there's a lot of angles you could put this thing at and still get the desired results that you want. I don't know about the up above, up above, up above, up high, up above. So there's some advantages to the cam spectrum for sure. And just for shits and giggles, Zoom H6 is what we're recording this and the SM7B on. So I like the cam spectrum. I don't know if I like it enough to keep it, but I like it. So cam spectrum is going to get, if you can find it for the same 80, 90 bucks I did, I got no issue with this. I'll green light it, green light all day. But if you have to pay 160 Again, I'm getting to the point to where the the landscape of microphones between $100 and $200 is, is just rich in good microphones. So if you love the sound of this one, you know that you're willing to pay $150. Great. I'm glad I could help you. If, if you think this sounds similar to a whole lot of other microphones that sound like they're in that $100 to $200 range, you may want to find a deal on it. Me, I'm happy with the $90 I spent on it. So 
I might keep it around just because it's easy to place in a in front of a guitar cab, in front of an acoustic guitar. This is very workable. I love the fact that it's got a short form factor. So it might be one of those mics I use on multiple projects, not just voice. But as far as voice goes, I think it sounds pretty good. Cam Spectrum, kind of a truly obscure mic. First cam microphone I've done. Let me know what you think in comparison to the SM7B. I will also exit out by going from the cam spectrum to the SM7B. That way you get one last little breath and listen of it. So th this definitely has a darker, smoother sound than the cam spectrum, but I do think both of them are quality. Obscure mics. The, no, that's what, I didn't do any that's what she said. This one's longer and harder. That's what she said. Peace out.